good morning. Ugh. I look a hot mess. That's because I literally just woke up. There's birds outside of the window chirping. Usually I don't have an issue with that. <laughs> but I'm tired. Because for some reason, when I don't have to work, sleep, like, doesn't exist for me. Because it's like... I'm like tired and I want to go to sleep, but my body's like, ah, ha, 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 I'm going to torture you and not let you sleep. <sighs> so pretty much I tossed and turned all night. And so now I'm going to show you these little birds that have been chirping outside my bedroom window all night long. Because literally, they are all, all right, okay, see, look, there's our gutter, <laughs> the first half. The other half fell off. See, there's my bedroom window. And then here's our other half where the gutter should be. And then in there, in that little hole, in that little hole right there, is a bird's nest. So there's birds in there, chirping and chirping and chirping and tweeting and humming and wishing for food and all that and <sighs> driving me nuts. All I want to do is just sleep. I just want to sleep. I don't get to sleep. I hardly ever get to sleep in. That's why I was so excited yesterday, because I get to sleep until 10.30. That never happens, ever. So it's 8 o'clock right now, which is the time I normally get up on a regular day. <sighs> Outside is gorgeous, which is good, because it's my nephew's birthday today. It's Fluffy. She wants outside. Go go outside, Fluffy. Come on. Look, I'm still in my pajamas and I'm like, I don't even care. I my shoes on. I think I'll put a letter in the mail. Yeah, a letter. I still do longhand letters. And cards and all that kind of fun stuff. I think they're more personal than text messages and emails. But I still do, I do text messages and emails too. But some people, some people don't have, I, like my friend Mary, she, I don't think she really has sex. She's doing this, uh... I don't know what she does actually. <laughs> um, she is uh, a, like a Christian counselor or something down in Winona, Indiana, and um, she. takes care of these ladies that live there or whatever. So I don't know I don't know if they have like internet access. So I've actually write her letters and like I send out birthday cards to people and all that kind of stuff. Oh hold on, I'm gonna step off to fill my coffee cup. But I met Mary actually at my sister's wedding because it's my sister's cousin. Oh, let me explain something. My sister actually isn't my sister. I met her on Facebook like four or five years ago. And her boyfriend at the time like was browsing people. And uh, I put, I like all kinds of music. So I put jazz music as one of the types of music that I like to listen to. And um... I guess he was browsing people who like jazz music, and um, my profile was unblocked because I didn't know how to do that, um, and I didn't really even care about Facebook at all because I was still into MySpace. Um, <coughs> now I don't even get on MySpace anymore because MySpace is late. But um, so anyway, she I guess he told her about me. And so she messaged me and asked me if I would like to be her friend, and then we sent messages back and forth and got to know, like, we have a lot in common, it's ridiculous, we're like 11 days apart. Um, might help if I put coffee in the coffee pot. <laughs> Instead of just the filter. But, um, we're like 11 days apart, we have like the same color eyes, um, uh, born in the same hospital. 
Um, we actually look a lot alike. Um, if you guys go on my Facebook account, you and you look up Elizabeth Washburn, you'll see that we look alike. Because I went into work when she still worked at Beaumont Hospital. Um, she, I went in with her one day because she had to switch days with somebody for something. And, uh, somebody looked at us and was like, are you guys twins? And we, like, you know, her head's here. And we looked at each other and was like, yep. And then, so, we're, like, twins 11 minutes apart ever since then. It's really funny. But, um, But, yeah, anyway, so me and Elizabeth became, like, really good friends. Like, we call each other sister and everything. And she married one of my best guy friends um, named Keith, who lives in, who lived in Massachusetts. And they moved to Maine. And then, so she went up to Maine to visit him for two weeks and brought him back here. And now they're married. And that's, <sighs> they have a son named Gerald, and that's my nephew. And then they just had a little girl named Amelia. And uh, that's my my niece. I love them. Um, yeah. So, anyway, my sister's wedding was July 7th, I think, or July 12th. Yeah, July 12th, because her birthday is December 7th, and then her birthday her wedding day was the opposite, so 7, 12, and then 12, 7, oh yeah. So July 12th, her and Keith got married, and that's when I met Mary. Mary came up from Indiana to uh, be the bridesmaid, and, or the maid of honor, my bad. And uh, she just, she's so sweet and wholehearted, and um, you know, a very strong heart for God, and I love it. And um, God, I'm a hot mess, I'm sorry, I apologize for this, this is... This is so cute right now. It's not even funny. Um. So, um, I probably got like eye boogers in my eye. Can you hear the birds? It like echoes inside my room. Can you hear it? Let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I can hear it. No, you can. Um. I'm sorry, I have like eye boogers still and all that good stuff. But, so I met Mary. She's very sweet, and we've been writing letters ever since. So, for like three years, <laughs> we've been writing letters back and forth to each other. And, uh, it's the longest pen pal relationship I've ever had. Because <laughs> sometimes, I, like, I, I tend to write letters. Like, I love writing letters to people, so I'll, I'll ask people for their address and I'll write them letters, especially if I think they're really cool. So I have, like, friends all over the world that I write letters to. And sometimes they don't write back. Actually, most of the time they don't write back. Mary's about the only one who has written back so far. But, yeah. I just thought it was cool to do the longhand letters. But, okay, I'm going to go figure out what I want for breakfast. And, uh, look, there's Abby. It's from my Abby. Well, my mommy's Abby, but she, I let her in my room one time, and now she just walks in. I'm just, I, I don't, which, I don't mind. I don't, like, I don't mind animals in my room, so long as they don't decide they want to, um, hop on my bed. Because that's a no-no. But, okay, I'm going to decide what I want for breakfast, and then I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye. I'm going to do a plug really fast. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm doing this, but I'm going to ask him later. Can I interview him about his music? Um, my friend Ernesto, I've mentioned it before, and m his music is in the background of some of my other vlogs, but this is him. Let me see if I can find his, uh... I have so much crap. He has this CD called Relic. It's really good. Um, Lizard Drop. Oh, my enchanted thing is broke. Okay, anyway. Oh, la la la. He has another CD called the Oracle, which is also really good. And, unfortunately, well, it's not unfortunate. It's just I have a lot of magazines. <laughs> uh, 
because uh, FYE, if you sign up to get their, um, oh, oh, if you sign up to get their card or something, you get money, or you get free, or I don't know, you get free something, then, uh, or the magazines were free, duh, um, anyway, I signed up for it, and I got the thing, and now I'm waiting for the subscription to end, so I can stop getting them out, because God, this is terrible. Okay, look, so this is a wa old wine cabinet that I'm using as my computer desk, and in here was where all the glasses were supposed to be kept, but that's where I keep all my paperwork. <laughs> and, uh, if I don't, like, organize it in any way, shape, or form, then it just becomes a huge clutter. And you just saw the wall. So, but anyway. Okay, so I'm trying to do this plug for enough to when it's not working. Oh, here's another one. Uh, the Oracle. Anyway, his band is called Gelia Frolango. Still sure I'm not saying it right. Um, I have another CD by him too. Where the frick did it go? I just got it. Well, um, anyway, he's incredibly talented, and, uh, he's doing, I saw on Facebook, oh, he has a Facebook page, a fan page, hey, let me show you, I'll show you. that's one thing I can show you, because I don't know where anything else is at, maybe I should have been organized before I did this, so, I apologize for the clutter, <laughs> and, uh, own organization of this whole random plug that I was trying to do to be nice and friendly and awesome and uh, it's not working out. So, anyway. Bop, bop, bop. So, this is his fan page. Julia Frolango. It's www.facebook.com slash Gelia Frolango. I'll put it down in the um, comments below. But tonight he's doing uh, he's doing the Mayfair Renaissance Festival, and he's performing there. Yesterday they did a wine he did a um, wine tasting at Elements in Lake Orion. I don't know if you guys got to go to that, but it was really cool. Um, I didn't get to go either because I don't I don't drink wine. <laughs> And, uh, nobody wanted to go with me. I don't like going stuff by myself. But, anyway, <sighs> he's doing this thing in Mayfair. He's performing there. So, you guys should go. Go to his page and like it. And, uh, get his CDs. You can get his CDs on CDBaby.com. Um, yeah, I just think he's incredibly talented. If you just listen to him. Um, you can even look him up on YouTube because he's on YouTube too. Um, but yeah, that's him. Also, if you haven't had a chance, you can, um, uh, I have a fan page here. Look, let's switch to mine real fast. I have a fan page now. Whoa! Look, I have eight. I have... <laughs> Focus! I have eight. Eight! I have eight fans. Yay! <laughs> um, so, yeah, you should, uh, definitely check out my fan page also. I was going to do an ad for it, uh, but it's like every time somebody clicks the like button on my page, it'd be $1.70. I don't, I don't know about anybody else, but I don't make that kind of money. I work at Wendy's. So um, until I hit it big, <laughs> that ain't happening. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post comments. Uh, comments. I'm going to post the links below so you can check them out. Um, so yeah, uh, do that. And, uh, I'll ask Ernesto if one of these days me and him get together, could I interview him about his band and let him let you guys know. So way you guys know all about all the cool, fun stuff there is to know. Like the meaning behind the name, Julia Ferlango, and, uh, how he comes up with his music and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, uh, I am still, I'm waiting to go to my nephew's birthday party. So, I will, uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Bye. Love ya.